What's up? I'm Drew Paul Bell, and in this video, I want to talk about how to use the computer in the design process for your architectural projects. So when I was in school, uh, I saw a lot of instances where students designed things in the, in the computer, they used BIM, and uh, the teachers weren't very familiar with building information modeling and 3D modeling. So they were kind of left to their own devices when it came to figuring out how to design buildings using this tool. And then by the end of the presentations, a lot of times the teachers would say, you know, why are your doors that big? Why, is it, why, why does your curtain wall look like that? And they would say, well, that's just how the computer program put it out. And teachers would get really frustrated with them about this because they would be saying that uh, you as the designer, you're letting the computer drive your design instead of you driving the, instead of you driving the computer and driving the design, and uh, you know, make, being instead of being the ones making the decisions, you're letting the computer make decisions for you. And then they would go on to say that the computer is just a tool, just like every other tool that, at your disposal. It's just like your drafting board and your T-square and your pencil. And I think that the concept that this is a tool that you have to use and you have to drive it. You can't let it drive you. I think that's a very valid point, and I think that that's something that a lot of people need to hear. But then the second added on piece of that equation, which was that it's just a tool just like everything else, is a little bit of an oversimplification. And I want to make a point about this, which is that computer modeling programs, computer programs in general, is not just a single tool. They're all bundles of a bunch of tools. So it's, not, it's really more like you have your drafting table and your triangle and your T-square, and a tool for drawing walls, and a tool for drawing slabs, and a tool for drawing roofs, and a tool for drawing sections, and a tool for drawing lines, and a tool for drawing circles, and a tool for drawing other drawings, and a tool for making page layouts, and on and on and on and on and on. So it's not, so to say that it's just another tool in your toolbox is a gross oversimplification. Don't go into using the computer and thinking that, oh, it's just one more little thing you're, you're gonna do. No, it's gonna be difficult, it's going to be hard, but there's a lot of stuff you have to learn to it. In the same way that you had to learn how to use a triangle the first time if you were hand drafting. You know, there's, as stupid simple as it is, there's a little bit of a technique to it, and if you screw it up, it's obvious. Imagine that times every tool down the side menu of any, any computer program, right? You have to have that same kind of, same kind of like practice and that kind of fumbling around not knowing what you're doing. You have to get past that stage for a lot of those tools. And then a lot of those are even more difficult than just a triangle. So what you got to do, though, is like I've said in videos before, get to the point where you're thinking about your design. You're, you're using these programs to think with. All right, there's a difference between thinking of ideas. Excuse me. There's the ideas that you think of, and there are ideas that you think with. Make sure that you get to the point where you're using the computer programs as an idea that you're thinking with to then go and make design decisions about your project get to that kind of fluidity. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys. Uh, if you have any comments about you know, problems that you run in with, into with the computer uh, and using that in your design process, let me know in the comments down below. But don't forget to like and share this video. I'll talk to you next time.